Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Media True Nerd, and welcome to a nice actually opening to flipping Skyrim today. Because yeah, that frost dragon from last time, we've caught up with it. He's having a good fight with Benor here, right in the college, and no one else, because obviously no one else can be bothered to actually show up to help, which is marvellous. Luckily, at least one of the persons caught something. Right, let's just send in a nice storm attract to help out over here. Very good. I think he all goes down pretty fast, in fact. Right, let's get Benor nice and safe. Benor's doing all right over there, isn't he? Yep, yeah, Benor's doing just fine over there. Lovely. But actually, Benor, we've got some new stuff. In fact, we've got new stuff all around here. This is a good chance to try out our new magic. So we've got ourselves Heal Other and also Rally. Though, bear in mind, my magic's going to come back a little bit on the slow side for the time being. Benor, Benor, Benor? No, that cannot be the best way to fight the dragon. Do not run away from the dragon. Oh, dear. He's back. Right, in this case, Benor. Boom. Right, some nice courage for Benor there. And we've also got healing other going on as well. And that goes for... Oh, yeah, that gets Benor up nice and quickly. And Stormy the Atronach is still around too. Good, good, good. Now, I'm guessing you're not going to be resistant to fire as you are an icy dragon. So let's just toss in a couple of apprentice level fire bolts over there. That does basically nothing. I'm probably better off just supporting Benor, to be honest. How's Benor doing? He's not doing great. How powerful is that, by the way? That is... Oh, yeah. That's nice. That heal other spell. That's a good spell. Oh, yeah. We can just keep Benor up top health so easily this way. That dragon doesn't stand a bloody chance. Speaking of which... Oh, you are... Did I manage to get the heat on him? Just managed to get out of the way the lucky git. Right, Benor, hold still. We're giving you a nice heal up there. Lovely. Right, new Storm Atronach. Get in there and help out. Lovely. I think we also need to charge up his things there. Conjuration is up to 51. And I've leveled up too. So everyone now just pile on that nice dragon over there. Rally as soon as it's ready to go. We'll do very, very nicely indeed. Oh, yeah. His zappy ability on the ground does good work. Benor, how are you getting on? Benor, hold still. Hold still, Benor. And that was not quite in range of Benor, unfortunately. It does have some range in it, but oh yeah. This is the first Frost Dragon we've taken on. And these two guys together are doing a really, really nice job dealing with him. Oh yeah, very good. Benor, are you alright, by the way? Benor, Benor is... Uh, are you holding together? I can't see, hopefully. You know what, screw it. There we are, marked for death on you. Ah, Benor's in trouble. Not for much longer, he's not. Benor, Benor, hold still. Hold still. There we are, Benor. Benor's in good shape now. Now we just need to keep him healed up. There we go. Now Benor's looking good. Uh, get some good hits in there. Just keep him alive. Benor should be doing well. Get another he in on him. And now I think we should be good to just go in and finish him off with whatever we want. Oh yeah, I've got this pale blade thing I've not been using. That seems good. Pale blade. Pale blade. This apparently does lots of damage. And just go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty damn good. Use that on occasion. First Frost Dragon of the game dies. Nice Dragon Soul for me. Thank you very much. Benor, I think you helped as well, so well done to you. Can you possibly hurt Jezargo? I've literally just saved you from a dragon, all right? What more do you want from me? You are me, yes. Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? I'm sorry, that's actually beyond my skill level. I'm more about, like, the conjuration. Is it? This is disappointing. Jezargo hoped that might be one who could keep pace with his accomplishments. Look, what do you need help with exactly? Jezargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jezargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Well, depends exactly what you need and how I'm supposed to be helping you out, Jezargo. Jezargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jezargo when you are ready. Oh, give me the scrolls. They don't weigh very much. But yeah, if I recall correctly, these scrolls, they go a bit wrong. But if we're passing by a good location, we'll do it, sure. <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. 
It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Cesargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Jazargo's experiment, lovely. We will potentially try that later. Now, problem is a few people are kind of getting stuck in the dragon boat at this point, so we need to kind of get them off the college. So, should be able to handle that. Let's just go over to Unrelenting Force here. Okay, well that gets them off the main path at least. Also, people were telling me, yeah, apparently I can actually potentially bring a dead dragon, even though I've taken its soul, back to life. So let's give this a go here. Come on, dragon. Are you willing to serve me? And you... No. Sadly, not just yet. I thought you were getting up there for a second, but tragically, you were not. Right, so today, you may recall, at the end of last time, we actually ran into the Augur of Dunlane, who told me, hey, mention the fact there's... Wait, what did he tell me to mention? I can't remember. He told me to tell something to the headmaster, so I'm just going to go and report that right now. Oh, Staff of Magnus, that was it. It was the Staff of Bloody Magnus. Ah, but on the way, the library... Because it was specifically flagged to me that, yeah, down in the midden I found a mysterious gauntlet missing four rings. That was supposedly hidden in the library. Oh my goodness, the librarian's actually here. And possibly the... Yeah. Um, so those types of magic I probably shouldn't mess with. Uh, I shouldn't mess with them. The most dangerous magic of all is console commands. <laughs> I've summoned in too many bastard librarians. Good, good, good. Right, okay. I'm guessing they are... No. There's potentially some useful magical books there, but where are you keeping the rings? Are you willing to tell me about this by any chance? No, I can't ask him about the rings. And I can't see the rings around here. There's, oh god, two terrifying librarians. I mean, I'm guessing it might be hidden in some of these bookshelves. They're not all locked bookshelves. Some of them might actually be, yeah, just a place to hide these rings. I mean, plenty of these. In fact, the majority of the bookcases in here can't even actually be. Ooh, hang on. The investigator's chest. Okay. Master locked, but that could be doable. Yeah, the rings from this, presumably. Ah, no, I don't even need to worry about that because, yes, indeed, uh, I actually have the investigator's key. So now I've got four ornamental rings. Okay. I think I might just take all of them. And then just be on my... Okay, fine. We'll go and see... The... Actually, no. We'll go and see the master right now. But after that, I'm going back to the midden for a second. I'd like to investigate what's going on with those rings and that gauntlet. Because I can't bloody remember. It was something to do with conjuration. I'm a damn good conjuration-y person, alright? I'm good at that. And here's the headmaster. In fact, not in his office. Looking at the magical glowy sphere instead. Right. Headmaster, we need to find the staff of Magnus, apparently. I'm sorry, what? Well... I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And I know for a fact it's connected to the orb we found, though I can't really explain why clearly, because everyone involved in this damn quest is all Ooh, spiritual, mysterious, we don't know. And how do you know of this? Well, the Augur of Dunlane told me, to be honest. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. And I'm assuming you mean me because you just want to stand here watching the sphere and eating some pies. I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the auger for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently, why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. All right, Major Circlet. Very, very nice indeed. I've already got the Adept Hood, so I'm not sure this is going to be any better than that. So yeah, Adept Hood. Uh, that Major Circlet is... Ooh! Way flipping better! Nice, that's just 50 points. This is, yeah, up to flipping 70 every time. Good, good, good. So, and now I'm going to look lovely as well. Hang on, just... Ooh. And now I've no longer got my beautiful, beautiful, magical iron face paint hidden away. Very, very good indeed. I like that. So go find Mirabar, but first, I have a very, very important and kind of agonizing level up to do here. Now, 
Magic card. I need more health. I'm dying too quickly. I desperately need some health. But what's to do here? This is a really, really interesting level because there's loads of stuff I could do. Illusion's finally up to 40. So I could actually take, yes, Kindred Mage. All illusion spells work on high level people. Very important, especially now I've just got Frenzy. That'd be very, very good indeed. Because, yeah, my illusion's falling apart. I find illusion hard to level. I think Illusion's like one of the harder schools of magic's level, which is why I'm willing to pay for it on occasion. Conjuration just hit 50, which means, yeah, I could get Adept Conjuration straight away. So Frost Atronach and Revenant and stuff could be a hell of a lot cheaper. It might be fun to do the Overcharge or from twice as far away. And then I could go Double Duration. Yeah, that'd be nice, but it feels like a bit of a waste. Or Great from Dead for... Great duration for undead. No, I can do without that, though. Alternatively, Magicka regenerates 25% faster, thanks to recovery, over here in Restoration. That's bloody good as well. I need to take Enchanter 3 and Insightful Enchanter at some point or other. And I could take bloody the next rank of Armsman for another 20% damage with one-handed too. Ah, so much I could do. And there's one other thing as well, which is uh, Oblivion Binding. Bound weapons will banish summoned creatures and turn raised ones. Now, my question is... Actually, uh, comments, could you just confirm this for me, please? Um, Oblivion Binding, if I take that, does that mean my Bound Sword, I could just go inside Azura's Star and basically a single swing of my Bound Blade would just get rid of the Dramora inside there? Because if so, I will take that and I will re that. But I don't want to use it right now because there's so many good perks I want to take right now. I don't really want to kind of waste my time doing it like immediately. But if I can just basically the Dramora inside the star will just go down to a single swing of the Bound Sword, then I will totally take it just for the sake of getting Azura's star. But no, for the time being, I'm going for the sensible option here. I'm going to take myself recovery. Magicka regenerates 25% faster. Yeah, lovely. I can take another rank of that at 60 that is doing very, very nice indeed. And yeah, and just three more uh, restoration. I'm going to have to take a depth restoration as well. Nice. So let's go find Mirabelle and have a chat to her about the location of the Staff of Magnus, which apparently she knows the location of. I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive, very unique and definitely worth studying. But let's not jump to any conclusions or assign it importance beyond what we're certain of. Look, tell me about the Staff of Magnus, please. Well, it's said to be very powerful. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as the story goes. But it's more myth than anything at this point. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months ago looking for it. Okay, Synod showing up looking for it. That sounds relevant. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So no one actually knows the staff's location then? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Right, off to Mizulft we go! Marvellous! I just can't remember where the bloody hell Mizulft is. Hang on, where's Mizulft? Actually, not so bad. I've been in this part of the world before, so should be able to get over there without too much difficulty. And of course, naturally, that is indeed our next big destination. And would you believe there's a dragon back in this bloody part of the world again? Maybe we just sort of go away from that. He's just hanging around uh, the bone-strewn crest over there. At least I hope he is. Uh, you're heading in this direction. I Actually, you know what? If you're on this direction, is there a... Uh... No, there's no dragon that's regenerated around here. You know what? I think we should just basically try and get out of here as quickly as possible. I can't be bothered to fight you today. We've already done a dragon fight. And just to completely bloody ignore you. Right, so we basically need to head due east from, yeah, that camp I've already cleared out. That former dragon's camp. And, ooh, hello. There's a, there's a thing here I wasn't expecting. Right, hello. Guys. What's going on here exactly? Who are you lot? 
You're just, ah, random hunters, fine. And there's something else going, oh, hello. What's, what is going on up here? Hello, what's, what's happening? I feel like I've walked in on some politics here. There's, what the heck are you all going for? Oh, it's just a vampire. There's a random vampire here. Okay, no, 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 you don't get to, get, you don't get to escape. Hang on, come back here, you. There we go. No, bad vampire. Bad vampire. There we go. That, that was the worst food I've ever seen. It didn't do anything. Also, I'm starting to feel sorry for the vampire at this point. Not that bad, mind, but uh, there goes the vampire down. Lovely. And a ring of archery would be kind of cool, but not really relevant to me. So you are just, yeah, Vigilance of Stendar, was it? Marvellous. Well, good job, guys. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. And well met, Vigilant. You've just done good work there, beating up a vampire that wasn't fighting you and had no interest in fighting whatsoever, in fact. So what have we got around here? One cave somewhere up there. Or indeed, yep, that'll be Mazolfed right there, in fact. Lovely. I think I can do without every single cave, so in which case we will head straight for Mazolved, if I can just find a way around. This feels like not a good location to really run straight over, but if I can just get over these rocks. Come on, here we are. I think in more or less the right direction here. This doesn't seem like it's too steep, but just check the map if there's a more obvious way. No, no obvious road or anything. Looks like if we just head straight to here, if we can just get up to the top of this here mountain, we should actually have a good view of it as well. Ben or might fall behind, but I can just wait to get him to catch up. It'll be fine. Yeah, this is actually going to be too steep, in fact. We're just going to have to work slightly around here. Looks like we can cut through here. Pass by an Imperial camp. Possibly a... Ooh. Okay. Interesting thing here. Interesting... Ooh, very... Ah! Right. I have found exactly the right thing I was looking for. Okay, fine. Oh, this is nice and cool. Right, up here then... We have found ourselves Bizulfed, I'm guessing. And it is indeed, yeah, Old Dwarven, by the look of the architecture at least. Though weirdly, there's another path that goes up in this direction. It's completely different to, ooh. Okay, what is this building for then? Hang on, now I'm curious, and this is a Dwarven storeroom. Ah, wait, I think I remember this. This here is an excellent place to get yourself some Dwarven ingots really, really early with some fairly easy lockpicking skills. Because, yeah, right up here we've got ourselves, yep, Dwarven metal ingots times six. That is another, what's that, like nine, nine or so. So, yeah, absolutely tons of Dwarven metal ingots and also just Dwarven metal and cogs and whatever dotted around here. Very, very good indeed. So yeah, if you happen to be wanting to make yourself a full set of dwarven armor, this right here is the place. Plus, just a very good way to just kind of basically grind your uh, your log picking up if that's what you want to do. You can even bypass the expert log by just doing apprentice then apprentice to get through here, which is very, very welcome indeed. And that gets me, ooh, my Ethereum shards. That's intriguing. I wasn't expecting that here, actually, at all. Also got ourselves a Dwarven Battle Axe of Freezing here. I'm guessing that's going to be nowhere near as good as the weapon you've already got. We'll just check it, just in case. Bare minimum, I will actually just uh, let him have this, because he can sell it later. So, ooh, but 20 points of frost damage is one hell of an enchantment. Yeah, you can right now do 26 and then a further 10, or 22 and then a further 20. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? No, 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 no. I don't think you should be using that anymore. I really feel like you should be using the Dwarven thing. But unfortunately, ah, I can't take the Battle Axe off him to force him to use the Dwarven thing. Because I don't actually have the weight capacity for it. So, never mind. Hopefully he'll figure it out in time. And up to lock picking 40 by just getting the Expert Gate on the way out. Lovely. You see, when I play Scar and Casual, I always go for smithing. So I used to have, like, memorized all the easiest locations to get, like, loads and loads of good quality ingots. So, like, you know, I know where the glass mines are and I know where, like, you can get the dwarven metal and stuff like that. And I know where you can get uh, the elven stuff relatively early on in the game as well. So not really relevant for this run because, yeah, I'm actually uh, kind of refusing to use crafting, at least for my weapons. And I'm having a lot more fun this way, actually. I'm genuinely having a lot more fun, not just basically crafting weapons. Because, yeah, if you craft your own weapons, then pretty much you'll always just use what you've just... Crafted under all circumstances because pretty much whatever you find is never going to be as good. But yeah, this whole situation with, ah, one dead adventurer. That's, ooh, the Ethereum Wars. Yes, you know what? I've already read that, in fact, but it's nice to know I've actually got a shard of Ethereum at this point. I assume I've kind of accidentally <laughs> skipped ahead one stage in that quest when we get round to it. But yes, 
Very, very good indeed. Now, in we go into Mazolft, and I'm guessing this is going to be flipping dangerous. And we have got ourselves one dying and or dead person here. Find the Paratus in the Oculate. Wait, was Paratus a person or is that a thing? And you've given me a key. Research logs, some ropes. Ooh, robes, very valuable. Right, quickly read the research logs here. So a focusing crystal is required. We've sent you a new one. Deliver it to the site. Report for the council as soon as possible. Now, problem is, this guy did not have the crystal on him. So where is it? Now, weapons out. This is going to be tricky because dwarven ruins always are. Got the key here, at least, which is nice. Keep an eye out for those guys' corpses. Because we do absolutely need, yeah, to find the crystal on one of them. And we've got... I thought there was a centurion there. <laughs> Immediately, I thought, that's a really harsh way to start this off. Right, prepare. Don't know how bad this is. Actually, you know what? This is actually um, not really a main plot thing, but like, you know, a fairly... You know what? This is going to go so well if I just walk straight into traps. This is a fairly well-known thing from a fairly major well-known quest. If I had to guess, I'd say hopefully it won't be that bad. Vigorous healing, more blue mage robes. That's worth a very large amount of money. Good, good, good. Now what have we got right here? Yes, indeed. Uh, we have got horrifying monstrosities. And boom. And uh oh No, 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 no. Ben up, Ben up, Ben up, Ben up, Ben up. There we go. Now, how easily can we handle these guys? Oh, pretty bloody well. I'll just help myself to any nice things in there. Nice. Help myself to all of this stuff. Good, good, good. Dwarven oil, that is uh, not really worth taking in terms of the weight, to be honest. It's not worth my trouble. Right, through we go. Hopefully, the Storm Atronach will actually keep me going here. Good old Stormy. Plus, with my new level of magical regeneration, thanks to all the different things I'm wearing for plus magicka and plus magicka regeneration, I'm really hoping, yeah, if I can just stay at the back nice and safe, let's just kind of cast a new one of these. Oh, my magic now comes back. So ridiculously fast and one-handed can just keep going up and up and up. Lovely. And no, don't kill it too quickly. I want to go. There we are. <laughs> nice, nice little lightning storm there. Actually, do you guys have... Do you have splash on you? I don't know. You may or may not have splash on you. But I like the fact that, yeah, my magic comes back very quickly these days. Okay. Basic spiders. Right now, the game's just introducing you because, you know, you may not have actually stumbled across dwarf stuff before. Sooner or later, the Dwarven Spheres will start showing up. That's when this starts getting dangerous. Oh, no, that's not a Dwarven Sphere. That's fine. Everyone in. And boom, boom, boom. Yep, there's definitely actually friendly fire. So, uh, yeah, the problem with Stormy is he might just murder me as well at some point. Still, we're making decent fast progress here. This is all looking promising. But this here, I'd say we're now heading into horrible, horrible murder bug territory. That is, nope, that is not stuff to be mine. That is just, yep, Reaper, I thought as much. Right, get in the way. Benor up front, and can we handle this? Oh, yeah, we can, we got this. We got this, assuming it doesn't turn its attention to me. Boom, ooh, that thing was actually tough enough to flipping get rid of my Storm Atronach. Yeah, I think they're actually not that tanky. To be honest, like they hit pretty damn hard, but I think their tankiness needs something to be desired. Possibly the Frost Attack actually even has more health. I'm not sure. It feels that way to me, but I may just be kind of imagining things. And don't forget to grab all of these lovely blue mage robes, because even though they're kind of useless, they are very, very valuable. Oh, and thank you to people in the comments who pointed out to me, I don't need to wait till I'm spotted to actually cast a new Atronach. Because, uh, yeah, as long as you subsequently go on to be spotted, you retroactively gain the benefit. So that's nice to know. And I can't help but notice traps here. Yep. Glad we spotted that at least. Someone is... Ooh, flying things. Flying things, flying things, flying things. No! Stay back, bastard Casador. Right, you are not so bad, are you? No, we're all right. There we are. Just stagger that for a minute. I'll just get on top of the... The rocks are kind of getting in the way here. Maybe just get up. There we are. I got one hit in on it. That was totally at least one hit by me. Marvellous. And we got more. Oh, blimey. Someone else. Someone else. Someone else. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, yeah. Ben all loses his health quickly against these guys. Still, fast progress here. Still, Ben all and me and the Stormy Atronach. They are doing good work all together. Just keep it. Oh, oh, yep. Spheres now. Spheres. Unsurprising. Right, focus. No, not on me, though. 
Not on me. Stormy does good work over there. There we... I just kind of... <laughs> ben was not resistant to him, unfortunately. Uh, so that's unfortunate. And as soon as he's dead... Yeah, lovely. Nice. Uh, yeah, I pushed away Ben or there. <laughs> pushed away Ben or, but uh, unfortunately not the sphere. Because the sphere is resisted, but Ben or is not. Luckily, those spiders are not immune to that. So that's nice. Ben or up you get. Come on, Ben or. Round the side of you. And nice and dead. I should really actually just be using rally on Ben or, like, constantly. Because that will be a good way to get, uh... To get my illusion up. Like, I know I could just say cast Muffle over and over forever. Like, I do consider that cheating. I don't want to do that. I want to do it when... Ooh, something's around here. Ah, perfect timing. No, 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 no. Not me, 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 not me. Screw you. There we go. Are you still coming after me? Nope, he's changed his mind. Good, good, good. How's the storm doing, by the way? I'm just going to get a little bit more on the storm here. Then all's all right, but now let's get a new storm in. Because you're probably about to time out pretty darn soon. And dead. Lovely. I'm going to grab all of the soul gems off them. And more good stuff around here. Just a handful of spiders and whatever. New one to get in his way. Lovely. And... Yeah, good luck with that. Back down over there you go. I like how those guys are affected by Foos. Foos is hilarious. Right, over here I will get the final hit in. There we go. I totally did. Anyone else? That was my kill. I've got an expert gate here. Is this actually expert? Okay, possibly have Mr. Key here. That's fine. I would rather just quietly accept the experience. There we are. Lock picking up to 41. Grab myself. Oh, I thought this was a lever, not a chest. Fine. That would explain a lot then. A uh, circlet of archery I can do without that. Actually, wait. How valuable is it? It is. No, I should take that. A thousand value for two weight. I should take that even if I'm not going to personally use it. Yes. Now, hang on. If that wasn't the right way to go, where is... Ah, there's a door over here. I ran straight past. Marvellous. And looks like... Oh. Oh, I don't like this one bit. That's lots of the things that spit out bastard spheres. Yep. Don't like that. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not right. So, what have we got in here? We've got one sphere over there. That's fine. I suspect if I walk in front of these... Oh. Okay, they haven't pushed me off yet, but if I walk on those things, they totally 100% will. Right, perfect timing. Rally for Ben. Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Illusion's up. Now, we just keep Ben or safe. No, that was me. Sorry. That's my fast healing. Oh, that's nice to have. I should use that more often, mind. And then just get a few hits in on the back of him. Lovely. He goes down. I hit hard, but I go down bloody fast too. So I need to be very careful and make sure I'm only around the back. Fine. So now at this point, if I just... Jump over the top of... Ah, so close. Right, never mind. Probably need to come up with a more clever plan than just run straight over it. Because, yeah, the moment I step on those buttons, those things are going to push me off. Unless, of course, well, there's no one here. If I just stand here, yeah. Now I can just run straight past. Oh, that was relatively easy to do. Man, even Benor figured it out. That's embarrassing when Benor has an easier task figuring out a puzzle than I do. Now we've got... Ah! Falma starting to show up here. Fine, so we know what's coming up next. Now, interesting thing people told me in the comments, Falma are apparently completely 100% blind. So if I muffle up, they literally cannot detect me. So that's interesting, isn't it? So no live ones yet, just a few more on the dead side. But yeah, if that's what we're going up against. I can just muffle and basically never be detected and just get infinite backstabs forever. And in we go to the boilery. Right, we've had uh, an alright run of it so far. It's not been so bad at all. And more signs of battle here. Yes, some things have been attacking other things. I will gladly take that. I've been a bit unlucky on the soul gems so far, actually. Last time I was passing through Dwarven Ruins, I got way more soul gems than this. But uh, this time I've got a handful of jewels. Only like one or two soul gems the entire journey. Very, very disappointing. But you know what that makes up for? A greater soul gem filled with greater... That is very, very welcome indeed. Unfortunately, Benor is not so good at the whole, you know, not being detected thing. So that's a shame. Right, no, no, you over there. There we are. Now everyone just go and get some quick hits on him in. Lovely. Everyone just piling on this guy. Oh, yeah. You know what? You just try using a shield. Try using a shield. See if it works. There we go. And my heavy armor's gone up. Uh, cause I took a light knock, and yes, I am indeed wearing heavy armor gauntlets right now, because it happens to be gauntlets that have plus 25% to one-handed damage. 
Now, let's see if I can actually use this to my advantage. I see one up there that has not seen me yet. I'm going to muffle up right now. Problem is, is Benor going to give me away? Because I should now be pretty much as good as silent while I'm moving around for the time being. So, as a result, you should not be able to detect me. Yep. As I suspected. Oh. No, Benor gave him away. Benor ruined everything. Right, okay. There we go. And we'll just get a couple of hits in on you. There we go. And, oh, I actually get the hit. There you go. I'm not just a mage. I'm a mage that kicks some serious ass, damn it. Yeah, if I was on my own, I might be able to just, like, get all the sneak attacks in. And that would be really, really badass. So that would be nice. If I'd actually, you know what? That guy up ahead, Benor... Stay here for just a second, okay? Because I'm going to go be a badass over there. Here we go. Badass mode engaged. Benor's been told to stay over here. He won't get involved. Okay. I go and find this guy over here. And now I'm going to go get a sneak attack, power attack on this guy. Because, yeah, if you all write in the comments, this guy can basically... No, he can't detect a thing. Right behind him. Wait, 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 wait. And dead in one. Nice. And my sneak goes up from that as well. Right. And you aren't even sure anything just happened. Now wait, wait, wait. And dead as well. Dead. Oh, yes. Maced in the neck. That is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad that's a thing. That's really cool. These guys are blind, so I can just go around doing that like crazy. If Ben or weren't here ruining everything... God damn it, Benno. What have you ever done for me? This is interesting. A master locked room here. But why? Doesn't that there's anything good in there? No, whatever it is, I'm not wasting the lockpicks to get in. I'm guessing, like, you know, there might be a handful of, like, say, soul gems on those guys. But it's not worth it, surely. All right, Benno, you can rejoin the party. But only if you promise, like, occasionally you let me be a total badass like I just was there. Because that was amazing. Up ahead, we've got bugs who sadly are not so blind. So let's just quickly throw down something to distract them for a bit. There we go. I think you can handle that. Get in some one-handed practice myself. Lovely. There we are. Good, good work. And onwards we go. And what's this round here? Just with... Ah, a chest. Nice. I'll take... Ooh, glass bow. Would be a lovely, lovely find. But not for me. But even then, even though I haven't been using bows this whole time, my urge to use bows does just occasionally. I just feel that desire. The back of my mind, I really wish I could use bows. Oh. Right. Maybe just cast a thing over there. And no, 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 no. Ben or Ben or Ben or Ben or thank you. Right. Let's just get a rally and some healing. Right. Rally for you. Boom. Although, actually, if I just also rallied him. I don't know if I've also just rallied that guy. <laughs> Luckily, he's not that tough, so that's fine. Benor, on you go. On you go. And then you're almost dead. And then... Ooh, you actually managed to take out the flipping Stormy. Nice. Luckily, I can get around here. Help out a bit. Yeah, those guys hit really bloody hard, don't they? Right. The nice thing is, with my magic coming back this bloody quickly, I can kind of afford to be using spells that I don't have the, like, um, perk for. So I can afford to be using expert level conjuration spells. Because even after I cast it... Oh. What the... Where's... Okay. Trouble somewhere? Trouble somewhere? Actually, you know what? Screw it. Can I just actually put it through here? Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. Rhoda! Over you go, lads. Ben, all, all flipping yours. All right? Lovely. If they decide to come over here. Yep, there we are. Good. Right. Ben, all, I'll help you. Oh, are they coming over here? One of them might be coming over. No, nope, they're not. In which case, Ben, all, I'll help you out. Right. Ben... No, and then healing, healing, healing. Benor, you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you, Benor. There you go. And next time I knock them down, I promise I will actually... No, I think I'm healing them too. And we're not quite ready to go with that yet. Uh, is your thing worn off yet, by the way? I think it might have done. There we are. More rally for you. More health and all that good stuff. Benor's actually a little bit on the injured side, so we'll just give him a little bit more on the health side. There we go. Get that up nice and... Benor? Okay, no, he's fine. He's fine. He just disappeared out of the world for a second. It's all right. And down he goes with a lovely big chop to the face. Now, what happened to Stormy over there? I think Stormy did... Ooh. Stormy did something. I don't know. Possibly think that guy was already dead. Fine. You are just doing a nice little dance there. 
That guy is just going to keep rotating forever. He's doing the Bethesda corpse dance. Beautiful. You saw this occasion in Fallout 4 as well. Just not that commonly. Oh, I think we're through the cave. Back into the ruins here. Love it. Ah. More Falma. Right. Ben Orr, you know what we're doing here. It's up to me. It's time for me to be the badass. I'm ben Orr, wait here for a second. Thank you. You're not standing guard, all right? You're just hanging back while I be a badass, all right? Get it right. Right, muffle up. Here we go. Murder, 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 murder. Wait for him to hold still. And get close to him. Then just kill him. All right, hold still. Hold still, hold still, hold still. And... And he's almost dead. And... Yep, there we go. Go! Maze to the phase. Job done. Lovely. Anyone else around? No? No, no one flipping dares take on John the mace wielding mage. It's alright, Ben, or you can come out now. I've made it safe for you. Another bloody master locked door here. Hang on, what's through here? It is chest. Someone died in here. What's in the chest? No, you know what? One chest, that's not going to be worth it. Because, yeah, Skyrim's not actually as bad as Fallout 4 for putting, like, really terrible rewards behind really, really significant locks or whatever. But still, I doubt it's going to be worth the amount of flipping lock picks I'd actually lose. For loot, I wouldn't bother. Potentially for, like, you know, opening up a really cool side door or something, I might. Ah! And we finally found the boilers of the boilery. That's good to know, though, actually. Am I supposed to be going this way? Ooh. Expert I might bother with. There we go, into- Oh, oh, no, 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 Ben or Ben or Ben or save me! I'm sorry for the bad things I said about you! Ooh, stamp on that bug, that's right! Stamp on its face, bloody annoying, horrible thing. Right, good, 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 get ourselves some nice, yep, antenna and whatnot. Now, what was this thing guarding that was so damn good? There may be something good in here, flipping expert locked, and it is, uh, one dwarven helmet, not that good. Another locked thing! I've already done the locks. Don't have to do more locks. Okay, fine. I'll do one more lock, but this better be worth it. All right, fine. You win. One emerald, one gold sapphire ring. I'll take that. That was indeed a dwarven jewelry box. Very cool. Now, this is... Ah, this looks intriguing. What do we have here? Well, we've got more Falmer. Right. How many have we got? One, just the one. But... Bit different. No, two. Right, Ben, 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 Ben. Stay here. I got this, man. All right. Just two to go down. Two to go down. And yeah, the dagger that I've got with me. I do have like a really nice glass dagger, but it's not going to be any better because, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the ten times dagger perk. Not yet anyway. Right. You just hold still in a second. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Oh, oh. Oh, and... That was a total mess! No! Ah! Okay, right. Well, I've used ice form on both of them. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. Right, so uh, you're fine. Right, uh, Benor, Benor, I've decided I need help. I failed at being a badass on this occasion, so it's up to you. Right, don't worry, Benor, I can help you. There's your rally, and here's your healing. Beautiful, there you go, nice. Now, you've got ourselves a magic user coming in. Ooh, with a bound sword. That's pretty damn cool. Right, hang on for a second, and I will freeze everyone for you. Okay, just one second, and just one, one second. Okay, I'm just waiting for the shout to be on cooldown there. Get your health back up. We're good. Almost. Apparently the cooldown on this thing is bloody ridiculous. Right. Just keep on rallying him and keep on healing him up. I think I just healed up the wrong one. Benner, I'm sorry. That was a mistake. Right. Make sure we heal the right person. The right person is Benor. I, I healed the wrong one again. Right. It's okay. We're good now. There we go. I slightly froze Benor as well. Okay. Um, Benor, I'm going to get you up. I need to practice with this shout a bit more. Right, basic flames. There we go. We've got the ice off Benor. Benor, it's up to you now. Go on, Benor. You can do it. And there we go. That actually worked pretty well because that got his... I think it kind of got his um his magical shield armor thing down his ward or whatever. So, yeah, as a result of that, that actually worked pretty well. Question I've never really thought about before. Can I actually revenant up Falmer? Do they count? Because if so, I'll totally have one of these with me for a while. Hello, would you like to come and be my friend? And the question is, yes! Yes, you would! Marvellous! You can come with me! Except you probably can't because I'm about to go through a load zone and quite possibly you can't follow me through there, so that's a shame for you. 
Also, everyone's fallen behind. Never mind, hopefully they'll catch up when I go through the load zone to the airdrome. Cool. Wait, no, sorry, I told Ben or to hold still, didn't I? I'm not sure I ever actually told him to follow again. Wait, hang on, I need to go back for Ben or... That would be why he fell behind. Yeah, I told him to hang behind and... Wait, are you my... Why didn't you follow me? You should have been following me at bare minimum. I've never told you to stay. Yes, you can now follow me again. Wait. When I leave the room and head onwards yelling, Adventure Ho! That's probably a good sign. You probably ought to, like, you know, disregard my previous orders and just follow me. Right. One new storm match. Knack over there to draw that archer's attention. Benor runs in as well. And there's also some other stuff around here. Skulkers aren't going to last that well over here. Just get my one hand stuff a little bit. Go over to you. If he causes any trouble, immediately freeze him. And then I can just back off. Yeah, the ice thing, quite useful. If only just for the ability that if I'm in trouble, I can just use it to basically run. It's basically a get out of jail free button, isn't it? Yeah. I should actually use that more often because that's actually kind of cool. We've got app. Ah, we got problems over here. Okay, multiple of you bastards. Let's actually just toss in. New one of them. Right, let's get on this. Ben, oh, you're on this. Right, lovely. And Jeff, anyone turns to me, and straight afterwards, I can just... Oh, you're just a basic one. Oh, you're so screwed. You're so damn screwed. Right, Ben, oh, you move on to the others. Uh, if any of them are causing trouble, I will freeze them for you. Right now, if I actually, you know what? I'm just going to go and freeze. Oh, no, 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 not that. Right, hang on. And... There you go, you're frozen. Also, I'm really, really badly hurt right now. Hang on. Let's go over to some of that lovely new fast healing I've got going on here. Yeah, fast healing. And boom. Oh, yeah. That is indeed pretty fast and really, really cheap to cast as well. Nice. Right, that guy's dead. He's a... Ooh. He had the focusing crystal on him. Nice. And that guy's just doing something really, really bad over there. Marvellous. And then we've got... Yep, we've got you over there. The shout is not yet off cooldown. Oh, yeah, that shout's got a really big cooldown, doesn't it? Now we've got you and then... Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to leave this to the professionals. Just going to leave this to the professionals right now. Heal up. But, you know, I can just heal up like crazy. Just so fast, like during the fight. That's really, really damn good. So, go over here and dead. Lovely. After all of this, yeah, I'm only down to like half charge on my flipping uh, mace right now, which is really, really damn good. I assume this is the... I don't have the key. Fine. I need to go find a key of presumably one of the blue mages uh, in order to get through that door. Master locked door over here as well. Fine, leave that for now. But actually, check the corpses, because one of the corpses actually had the focusing crystal on him. So logically, potentially, one of those might actually have, like, a key that's useful as well. Although, if we've already been up to, yeah, both of those doors, can't get through. That leaves only this one down here. Right, open this door. And what exactly is... Ooh. Well, this feels like a doom pit. Look, I've been playing games for nearly three decades at this point, alright? Just show me what's going to attack me in here and be done with it. Is it going to drop through the ceiling? No, there's no hole for it to drop through. But... No. Look, something. It's something, alright? Don't pretend there's nothing in here. Well, nothing bloody yet, which is quite frankly weird. And something has killed these guys. Oh. Right. What's killed you, bastards? Oh, yeah, I would have expected that. No, that kills me in one go. Right, Ben or In you pop. And I'm now just going to desperately try and keep you safe. As far as possible. All I need to do right now is... Uh, yeah, I just basically need healing hands and rally for him, okay? So I just need to rally up this guy. Right, so rally him up, get him the extra health, and then keep Benor alive as far as possible. Benor is... That's going to be difficult to do. Right, Benor, you just need to survive for one second, please. On your own, because I need to get the magic... Oh, my magic's coming back so slowly. Right. I need to augment my magic with some potions. I've got all these potions. Let's do it. Fortify magic. Yes. Also damages my health by nine points because I'm not very good at mixing potions, damn it. Right. Chill out. Let my magic come back for one second. Then I can focus on getting Ben or back up and about. Yeah. Right. Magic's going well here. Get Ben. No. Ben or keep up. Here you go. Ben or is staying up enough to get some hits in. Yes. Lovely. Keep going. Keep going, Benor. I believe in you. And if not, how much strength have you got left? Not much. Okay, I really, really need 
the Storm Atronach to do the job here. Really need that to happen. Can I freeze him, by the way? Hang on, give it a go. Ah, uh, not if I completely miss, I can't. No. I'm guessing Ben was down the ground. Can you even make it out of this room? If he can't get out of this room, then this is a lot easier than I thought it was. Yeah, if he's just trapped in that room, um, Flame Atronag, would you like to get involved? There you are. Just stand over here and just toss fireballs at him, because uh, I'm not sure we can actually escape. Also, Wes, I'm worried by the fact Ben Or's not getting up. Did Ben Or just somehow accidentally die? Because that would be embarrassing if so. Yeah, you're trying to steam, but you can't get out of that room, can you? No, that's... Oh, Ben Or's... No, ben Or's not dead. Ben Or's not dead. Right, in that case, um, heal... Let's go for healing hands on one... And heal other on the other. Yeah, so heal other. Right, Benor. Benor, 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 Benor. Benor's, no, Benor's still down. <laughs> Got, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you bastard. You utter git. Okay, we know what to do now. Get this guy up and about right now. Let my magic come back and then just save all my magic up for healing. So if we can just keep Benor alive, this is actually going to be pretty simple. So Benor, get ready to go here. Together with you, I'm going to put a rally on you right now in preparation. So, rally for Benor. There we go. And now, just basically go over to healing hands. And just a double healing hands should be enough. So now, crack this open. There we are. Now, back away, because his steam just utterly destroys me. Benor, you go in, and I just now keep alive. Oh, blimey hell. Right, focus on Benor for a second. Yeah, actually not. Maybe focus on me. Maybe just focus on me for a second. Maybe I deserve healing too. Right, so... Boom, and boom, that's fine. Benor, Benor, stay where I can see you. Stay where I can see you under all circumstances. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to get into trouble really fast here. Now, everything over to healing hands, and if I need to, I can double charge that. There we are. Now, if Benor gets into trouble, I can just basically double healing hands him. I need the, I need you to stay out of the way of him, because, oh, Benor, Benor, you're not doing this well. I need you. There we are. We've got it on him. We've got him, we've got the double on him. As long as we've got the double on him, he can tank just about anything. And now it's almost dead. But you know what? Screw it. Down it goes and I think it's been finished off. Well done, Benor. Good job there. I kept you alive pretty well too. I think I contributed there. Grand Soul Gem with Grand Soul too. Marvellous. And a chest at the far side. There we are. Observatory key. Spot on. So, back up to the door we saw before. Cracker open. And yeah, this should be the final. Well, I feel like I've done the boss. This feels like, you know, the post-boss bit. But it's Skyrim, so who knows? Maybe, yeah, might be more yet. Here we go. Right, so we've got it confirmed. Paratus, bloke. What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? Look, I'm sorry, but he's kind of dead. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them. They've ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. Are you crazy? I've already found so much treasure and all the soul gems and all this red dwarven stuff and so many dwarven ingots. I could make a beautiful new suit of dwarven armor from scratch with all this. You are crazy. Also, I've got the crystal. It's fine. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. Look, I've got the crystal. It's fine. You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it? I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? Dragonborn hero, white mage, well, necro white mage. I like being a necro white mage, it's a good thing. With the College of Winterhold kind of unofficially at the moment at least. You are, are you? Sabos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I could overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. The council is going to know that when I get back. Well, to be honest, he's not exactly going to be in a position to contradict your story, so tell him what the hell you want, mate. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight, and then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? 
it was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystals. That's, that's, Months of enchantments wow. went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. So, a wonderful giant starlight observing device of the dwarves uh, and a focusing crystal to shove into it. Yes, I like. Is anyone else alive, by the way? Is it just you? I think it might just be this guy, in fact. Yes. Oh, I like this thing. This thing's good. Right. Where do you want me to shove the crystal, by the way? Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. All right. When you say central, you mean right here? This this thing? Yeah? Yeah? Oh. Yep, yeah, lovely. So, focus. Ah, wait. I remember this, because they gave me a hint earlier. They said something about, yeah, the cold. The heat and the cold, didn't they? Can I do something with heat and cold here? Hang on. Or do I just need to push? I might just need to push buttons. That might be a different room. Okay. So that's that button. Hang on. What about this button? That button. Ah, okay, fine. So basically, I just need to make it so, yeah, a beam goes on. Yeah, because that just turns the thing. But the beams are not pointing in the right location. But if I use the right spell, potentially on this... Okay, let's try it out. Some basic flames here. See if I'm right. Yeah? Flames, am I remembering this correctly? Possibly? Maybe? No. Maybe I'm not. Yes! That's working! That's working right there. That was good. Right, okay. So, let's just keep using some frostbite on it. Right, lovely. So, now we've got... Maybe not quite, quite right yet. Maybe just keep using some frostbite over there. Right, so that's good. One of those is over there. And then I need one. Yep, that's in the second. And are you down at... Yep, you're down to the third. Spot on. Right, so now... Now I can just turn the things. No, it's fine enough. I've got it under control. So, yes, luckily, what he was saying was correct. So now, that top one just needs to turn. Quite a bit, in fact. But let's just get everything turning simultaneously for the time being speed up by just doing all three at the same time. Right, I think that third one's going to get into position first. Yep. That one's spot on. Now it's just the other two that need to be turned a bit more. So that one is, yep, number two gets into position. There we go. Nice. Job probably done. They're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in Winterhold, it looks like. Okay. It's a map. A map right here. Okay, what have you got to say about this? So what is it? What have you done? I've no you bloody clue. You show up here just as our work nears completion. And now I can't get any results from this because of something at your college. Do you think me a fool? Do you think I'm too stupid to make the connection? You've ruined my work! How did you do it? Ben, or if he doesn't start being helpful in about 30 seconds, start axing him, okay? Look, I've no bloody clue. Either you're lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? Probably don't tell him, right? I'm not going to answer that. So you do have something, Ben. Whether this was intentional or not, it suggests some interesting results. Can you help me find this? No, don't talk about the Staff of Magnus. Don't say that at all. Look, just, just let him do the talking and don't tell them anything. You're looking for something, yes? The Staff of Magnus. Well, even if you are trying to ruin my work, there's still something to be learned here. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, 
I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. Eh, he can do what he wants, to be honest. I think you've been in here too long, you're clearly mad. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. You know what? Let's just leave him be, it's fine. By any chance, did you see like a Skyrim door on the way in? Like some form of exit I could go out of to save myself some time? Ah, perfect. Side door right flipping here. Wait, hang on. Sigix first. Hello! You have done well thus far, but trying times are ahead. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. Oh, I hate it when people say that. That's probably bad, and by any chance, this is a really, really convenient exit out of this whole area. Yep, I'm assuming it is. Do I have the key? Yes, I do. And that brings me bloody conveniently right out here. You see, if I was part of the expeditionary force sent here, I wouldn't have gone in the front way, I would have just brought enough firepower and accident magic to just basically blast that door open, and then could have just gone straight into the final room. Bloody convenient. Still, I would say that is enough for now, ladies and gentlemen, as a dragon does circuits over there in the distance through the night sky and the storm. Yes, we've been told, head back to the college in a hurry, and we probably should do for what is, I think, we're up to the bit where I think we are. Yes, if it's this bit, it's probably the single worst, most annoying quest in the entirety of Skyrim. But that's fine. We will get through that very, very quickly. And then straight on to something much more interesting. Because we're not going straight on to Labyrinthium. No, we need to nip back to the college first. Because Labyrinthium, I can't even remember that out of Labyrinthium. But I'm assuming it's going to be awesome. Because I remember it being quite big and cool and there being good stuff there. So, we will do that next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>